hi guys uh, i hope you guys are doing good so in the last lecture uh, you guys learned how to create tables right how to uh, create database how to create primary key foreign key right in this lecture we will learn about uh, database link kind of thing so if you if you have used oracle you might have seen database link through which we can con uh, connect to another database and get uh, the data from another database right so in the postgres also there is a concept of uh, accessing remote data from a remote server or remote database okay so let's start so first i will show you the documentation of the postgres uh, for accessing data stored in external postgres server right so uh, basically we have uh, uh, we have to follow some steps uh, to achieve our goal so to prepare for remote access using postgres fdw you have to perform all these four steps okay so first one is install the postgres fdw extension using create extension command then create a foreign server object using create server command then create a user mapping using create user mapping command right and then create a foreign table using create foreign table or import foreign schema right so these are the steps we have to perform i am going to uh, give you the demo of uh, these steps okay so let's uh, go back to our pg admin so inside pg admin right now i have three database employee human resource and postgres right and i want to access data from employee to human resource right so employee is a different database which has two tables right now so let me show you so department and employee table we have in uh, in this employee database right and we have to access this data into human resource database right so in human resource database we have public schema and in tables you can see just one table hremp right and now i want to uh, use uh, employee uh, database tables into human resource database right so to achieve that you have to perform all those steps all the four steps right so let's start okay so let me um, let me open query tool uh, from the human resource database okay so in human resource database we will have to perform all those steps this is our target database so i have already uh, no prepared a script for you guys so i'll just copy all the five steps first and then we will execute it one by one and then i'll explain you in detail what we are doing okay so first step it will be performing target database our target database is human resource so first step is creating extension so extensions are the concepts uh, uh, in the postgres are uh, to you know make a, a, a to access the remote data using this extensions okay so first i'll show you if there is any extensions already present in a human resource or not so if i extend here uh, extensions so i see plpg sql is a extension which is already present in human resource database we are going to create a new extension called postgres ftw that is foreign data wrapper so let's create this extension okay so extension got created let me refresh my extension box so i can see postgres ftw extension is created right now i will give uh, uses grant grant uses on this foreign data wrapper postgres ftw to my postgres user on this database human resource database right so if you are using any other user on human resource database so give grant uh, before uh, performing next step right so i am going to give grant on postgres user okay although postgres is a super user so it should already have grant but just to demo you guys how you will perform with other users right i will execute this step okay 
so grant is given or uh, to postgres user on this foreign data wrapper right step 2 let's go to step 2 so step 2 is about creating server so you will have to create a server and syntax for that is create server you can give a server name so since i am accessing employee database here so i am giving server name as employee server foreign data wrapper is postgres fdw which we have already created in step 1 and options will be host database name and port this will be from the employee database okay so host is local host right because all our postgres servers database are on same local host server database name is employee that is the source database name and port is 5432 on which we want to access that remote data from employee okay so let's create this uh, server before executing this create server step let me show you if we already have any server present right so expand this foreign data wrapper inside this you will see there is postgres fdw let me try to execute this postgres fdw okay so server got created right so this server got created which is employee server right so now let me refresh this and let's check if we have employee server yes see in foreign server there was nothing now we have employee server right there so our server got created let's give access uh, this server to our postgres user so i am give grant al alter server this server owner to postgres right so this is the syntax for that so once you gave grant let's perform step 3 so step 3 is about creating user mapping for this postgres server right so for this postgres user we are going to um uh, uh we are going to create a user mapping right so postgres is our target user our human resource database user server is employee server which we have already created right now if you expand here user mapping so you don't see any user mapping right so we have to create a user mapping for this postgres user and in options you have to give the username and the password so username is postgres i am using and password is local right so this is the source uh, source user okay this is the user of employee okay so if you are using any other user so mention here uh, your uh, employee database user okay and password of that so let's create user mapping okay so user mapping is successful let me expand refresh this user mapping so i can see a user mapping got created right the uh, user mapping is postgres okay so this one is our target user and this one is source user right the password of source user and uh, this is the employee source employee database source user so here we are setting a, you know a connection between target user and source user next step is create a schema okay so what we want to do is import uh, employee has a public schema right so we want to import this schema completely into our human resource database right so human resource database has currently just one schema that is public schema and when we will import public schema from employee to human resource right so we need a schema right on human resource in which we want to do the import right so let me create a schema public emp in human resource database right so let me execute that so schema got created right let's refresh this schema and let's see so now we have two schema one is public and one is public emp in human resource database so public emp is for importing employee database public schema 
so we will import uh, employee database public schema into this schema if you expand this public emp schema so right now there is no table there is no foreign table right inside that so once we'll import then uh, we'll see okay so then uh, we have to grant all all on this schema public emp to our user so if you are using any other user so please give grant okay so your till your step 4 it is completed next step 5 is 5 is import for an schema public right from server employee server right into public emp so public emp we created in human resource database now we are going to import public schema from employee database to public emp schema into human resource database okay so let's run this command so import for an schema is successful now let's refresh this public schema public emp schema so now we see we have two foreign table department and emp and we know that this that these two table are present in our employee table right so in employee table public schema has this department and employee table right those two table you can see now as a foreign table in our public emp schema in human resource database right so that means import is successful right now let's check the data so let's check the data so to check data i'll just do select query on public select star from our new schema public underscore emp dot department right in in this schema public emp we have imported this department table right let's query this now i can see data in department table in my human resource database right that means this foreign tables i can query i can use in the joins right i can do anything with these tables and these tables are from employee database right so our import is successful right let's check one more thing that let's do some updates in our employee table okay employee database so let me open our employee database and let me copy some update commands okay so in the public emp department table uh, okay so this is public so in the public department in employee database we have two rows right so we are going to insert one row which is department number 20 right right now we have 10 and 30 so let's insert this so one row got inserted right let's check the department table again in employee database so it has three rows right let's go back to the human resource database right and let's check again this uh, foreign table department okay so you can see it is also having three rows now right so as soon as you do any kind of insert update operations data any operations on the data in your source database table it will automatically reflected into your uh, target database tables as well right we can also check one more example in the employee table so it has four rows right so no department 20 data right now right let's insert two rows from the department 20 so two rows got inserted so now public emp has should have six rows right so department number 20 also got inserted right now let's go back and query the employee table now 
right public EMP schema employee table so you can see we have six rows here as well right so as soon as we do any operations in source database that gets reflected into the target database okay one more thing i have to ex uh, just a homework for you guys so we are imp we had imported this uh, complete public schema into this public emp uh, schema in human resource database right so suppose you don't want to so it has two table right so all the two table came as a uh, foreign table in our um, public emp schema right so if i expand a uh, human resource database so you can see we have two foreign table right so what if you just want to import just one table or not all the table in that uh, uh, foreign schema right so to do that you have to just add a clause here import foreign schema public limit to and in the bracket just give st table name suppose only department i want to import so i'll just give only department and that will only import our department table right so i will not execute this this is a homework for you guys right and using all these uh, steps right you guys can able to import database from any remote server or from any remote database right just it's the same concept as database link in oracle right so i hope you guys understood the concept and uh, so that's it from this lecture in next lecture we will learn more new features in postgres right and i will also show you how to create foreign tables right in this lecture we imported complete foreign schema i will explain you how to create just one foreign table using this foreign servers so yeah so if you like this video please subscribe my channel